Hey, this is Kevin, uh, and I'm here with Joanna Man 420. We're going to be playing some Escape from Tarkov. Hello, I don't, guys. I don't personally own this game. We're gonna go over to the Scab Run Factory to begin. Now, now, what's what's the point of this game? Uh, it's a loot and shoot. A loot and like, shoot. Like, hey man, bring, bring your microphone in close so I can hear you a little bit. Loot and shoot. Loot and shoot. Yeah, it's uh. And, and Collect all the fucking loot you can. It's oh, like yeah. a loot hoarding game. A loot hoarding game, and you can you gotta upgrade your traders, complete missions to upgrade. So you got traders here, and you gotta upgrade them. So these are level twos. You can go up to level four, and it unlocks more shit for you to buy, and you sell, and you make money. And you build your stash up pretty much. See, this is my stash on the right here. This is my money on top. I got all this stuff, you know, body armor, kits for magazines and grenades. Which now, is like this right is a here. full inventory that persists from one game to the next, right? Yeah. And if you, whatever you take in on this side, uh, whatever, uh, excluding what's in your gamma container here, you lose. Now, what, what's if you that die. again? Uh, your what again? Gamma container. Your gamma it's like your safety container. So it's got it's got like a lock on it that's it's a secure container that only yeah they you, can only you can get into right and if like you put something in whatever's in here and you die you still get it yeah, but anything it. else on your body you can lose even your clothes your armor and armor helmet guns meds mags grenades your tactical rigs so it's like you just take everything <clears throat> yeah now does that always happen or is it is it guaranteed to happen about 60 to 70 percent guaranteed that you'll die and, and you get your shit looted but if you roll, roll with like lower gear items some people just don't even pick them up because they have okay. so many in their kit and their stash already and you'll get them back in like 24 hours we're gonna go scav run i can just scav run yeah see the scavs is like part of the npcs in the game this is like faction and then you play your main character here Whatever you take in, it gives you a random loadout, whatever you take in. Now, what you, you collect as a scav also goes into your inventory? Yeah, but it, yeah. Exactly. But if you, you start with, like, you don't get to set up the loadout, like, I'm starting with a pistol. Only a, a PCM can start with a... With no, it's all random on uh, scavs, but you can only run them, like, every 20 minutes. Well, what's the other one? PCM or PMC? PMC, PMC player, PMC. player's main character. Okay. <clears throat> Half the time you die from a, when you're playing scab, you die from a scab you didn't shoot. That's another player. So when you start as a scab, you don't take anything from your inventory with you, or you're no, you don't. Okay. It's all given to you. Whatever you start with, it's random. But what you collect as a scab, you can keep. Yeah. Hey, that's a pretty good deal, actually. So are you? Is your shooting less accurate than if you're playing a, a PMC? Uh, if you have your skills up, if you have your skills up as a PMC, possibly. Oh my gosh, there's so many people dead in here. Is that one of your guys, or? Yeah, it's a PMC. Alright, I gotta be careful. I might have should have picked up a gun. Off one of those dead guys, I don't know where anybody's at. You don't have a map or anything that shows you? See, I can. Oops, somebody shot over there. I can move these guys. I'm just looking for guns right now. A better gun than a pistol, but I guess. Now they're all, they've all been scavenged. Alright, I'm going down to the tunnels. That's one of your guys, right? Yeah, friendly. Is that a scab or is that a... Yeah. How do you, how do you tell them to turn a PMC in a scab? Uh, they're close. Okay. Let's see what it started me with. Ooh, painkillers, that's good. Oh my gosh, morphine too. Three painkillers. Okay, that's it. No health packs. Now, can you increase the level of your SCAV player like you can your PMC? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. 
possibly, but I don't think so. Try to silent run here. Pretty much like anybody with an assault rifle or a machine gun that will take me down pretty quick. Uh, yeah, this is a slow walk where they can't hear me sneaking up. Because it's all about footsteps in this game. Normally, I would be playing with headphones on. Well, put your headphones on. But then you wouldn't be able to hear. Well, um, we, we could actually... Because I listen for, like, footsteps, you know. Yeah. This is, a, this is a dead player. We should absolutely be able to get it to where I can monitor your the video game through my headset here. And you can monitor it through your headset. So essentially, our headsets would play the combined sound of everything. Our microphones and... Okay, we got somebody. We'll have to do that the next time. Is that a scav or... Player scav. See, there's other player scavs. Right, right. How do you know that this is it's a color as well, player scav? No, nope, they don't look any different. It's just how they move. You gotta pick it up. So now you got some weaponry here. You don't want that tactical rig? No good? I have one, Let's see. Uh... I need to, I need to take your early, but now since I've killed, uh, since I've killed scavs, scavs will attack me. Oh, because they know where you're, you're here? Yeah, they're like, oh, he killed somebody on our team. I need to hurry up because I'm not in a bad spot. I need shotgun shells, come on. Where are these shells and everything coming from? This is tactical rig. Yeah, oh, I got you, I got you. So you're going through it and it's opening it up and, yeah. you're, and, and you're finding this stuff. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to discard mine and take his. Get the hell out of there now. Could have been the last guy alive being around. How do you win? I mean. Oh, there's an exit. I don't know where the exit is. Do I have a fool? I can't check ammo on this. Or maybe I should, can I do this? Oh yeah. Okay. Cool, so we're good. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm expecting zombies to come out from somewhere. <laughs> Get over like with, with a board here. How do you exit? Okay. Oh, this is the extraction point? This is one of them. You have three. Gotcha, gotcha. So you just have to stay in there for a certain amount of time and then... Five seconds or ten seconds or something. So now all that stuff you collected, you can put in your inventory. Yeah. And then go back in with no... no uh, uh, as a scab again with no resources and then yeah but you can only play scab every like 10 or 12 20 minutes so every other time you have to play like a PMC you gotta right. revive it up okay yeah see I'll show you here like I'll try to do it again right away 20 minutes 19 minute timer so now I pretty much let's see where I can now if you wanna play as a PMC uh, you actually have to go in with, with stuff and risk it Right. I'm going to save these med meds. Uh, 
He's just gonna take a bandage or two. Uh, they never, they never hurt. Good, it's empty. I'll just sell it. Uh, I'll keep a thirty stack of shotgun shells. You know, I already got thirty. And I hate how it bugs like that sometimes. Ah, oh, it's the death of this game. What? What do you mean? Like, if you don't get it right on this, right on this, it'll like bug out and get stuck on the side and not go in. But so now I'll go to therapist. Gives you the most money for whatever you got. She won't buy anything. She's more picky. Okay, so I'll go to skier. He'll buy the cell. He'll buy the sunglasses and that. 1700 rubles. And then pretty much sell the rest to him. 64, so I got like 70, almost 100k that time. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, now we'll go in as my PMC. This is where you insure your items. Now, what's the overall objective of the game? Uh, to unlock, uh, upgrade all your traders to level four, uh, level four, and dominate. I guess. There's no real like mission at the end. I mean, okay. it's still in beta. So oh, there's no okay. end. There's still maps that aren't even available yet. Right now, it's just. Well, I, I see different locations on that map. Which, are, are those just different game modes or game levels or? Uh, what? Well, on the map, there you've got all these different locations around the city. Oh, like that here. Right there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not available yet. Street of Tarkov. Okay, okay. These are maps. These are. I was playing Factory. You were playing Factory. Town not available. Lighthouse not available. Terminal not available. Yeah, see, I'm seeing that line is connecting as so I was just kind of wondering is it is maybe it, in the original, in the, you know, in the game, maybe you would like, you know, start here right. and work your way to the streets of Tarkov. This is the newest one, they just released it, Interchange. And it's like a IKEA. It's like a big a IKEA store. Grocery store yeah. or a department store. Right. But this is the smallest map in the game, Factory. So you get right into the battles. This is. Like, you never fucking take good guns into this. Well, I mean, you do, but it's one of the ones that you don't survive on. Usually there's only one or two guys. Like, there's only six guys spawn on this map, PMCs. But there's an army of scabs that are NPCs, and there's, throughout the whole game, at any random time, player scabs can spawn in. No, when player scabs spawn in, do they spawn into a pre-existing scav? No, I think they just appear out of there. Right, okay. You don't see them spawn because usually they're somewhere in, like in the tunnels or something. I don't think, I think it's made where they don't spawn them close by. <laughs> but let's see. See how, see how long I can last. Lots of sneaking here. Really nice textures. It's a hatchet guy. This your warfare? You should try better. Is that a scab? No, player. But it didn't bring anything, you just had a hatchet. Why did you just bring a hatchet? Because they're afraid to lose shit. Yeah, so he's gonna run around with the hatchet, kill you, then go take your shit and. So now I gotta reload that mag. Are you getting shot at right now? I don't think so, but it's close. The reload cycle is kind of uh, long there. Definitely not running out there, so that tells me a lot. This is not a running gunner. No, it's not. There's a scab that just walked by.
was over my life somewhere or something shooting over my life. They're hunting you. Probably. See, I shouldn't have shot there, kinda. I feel like I shouldn't have. Cause I get my position away. Fuck, I'm in my minutes hotkeyed. That guy, his shit. So you're not gonna lose that guy? No. Just a scav. Somebody's shooting that close to me. Where's he at? So that wasn't a player scav, that was just a, a regular AI scav? Yeah. I mean, either way, it ain't worth my time to die. I wanna kill the players. This is the sky, he's close. This black and wound thing, what are you talking about there? After you you get shot so many times in one one limb, if somebody else shoots you in that limb, you instant instant die. Now uh, those two characters you just shot, were they people or were they scavs? They're scavs. Dog wants your attention or our attention. What do you Some want? attention. Yeah. Waiting on me. 
only thing you can get from hatchet guys are fucking hatchets. Oh wait, yeah, this you can get an arc tag. No. See, can you go to an extraction point? Left, and, and left armor. Right. Blocked. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Now, can you go to an extraction point and, and, get, out. and get out? Yeah, I can. It's on the other side of the map. But yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm going to be going to. I haven't really got anything other than two dog tags and a pistol. Oh, come on. That fucked me up. Oh my gosh. Come on, reload, bitch. Why are you not reloading? Kind this of being reloading. a little buggy there, isn't it? Yeah. This loot is a little like how long it takes to reload this bitch. Now, can another PMC spawn back into the game? So you start out with a set number of PMCs. Yep, so like you count them, like I've killed two, so there's only two left, right? Uh, four or five, three left. And that's if they haven't killed anybody else. Those really seem like AOs. There. But they're fucking accurate as shit. They got like aim bot. story first, but I feel like it's already been looted. Here's something. There's a guy right here or Yeah, it would really seem that, uh... I'm playing like I have something to lose. Well, you do have something to lose. You want to get get back to an extraction point so you can get the, the loot that you've gathered and get it out of there. So you do have something to lose. And then you've got the stuff you came in with, too. So you could lose that as well. Up there, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, what's this? That's a safe. Someone's already hit it. Yeah, there's not in it. Motherfucker, he almost got me. Was that a person? I think so. Well, I mean, it was a player scav. Okay. You can tell if they have a pouch slot. See this pouch slot? And they have two guns. He was waiting on me. He was gonna blast me with that shotgun. Yes, he was. He did hit me once. Yeah, he was waiting on me big time. Yes, he was. Literally stepped out right as you came around the corner. Yeah, he should have Oh, you didn't even hit the corner. He stepped out as you were coming down the hallway. He should have killed me there. Now, he should have waited in the room for you to come around that corner, and then you blast him. Right. Or he blast you. But uh, All right, now we're going for the... Exit. I swear the extraction point was going to be back there in that hallway you were at, but. There's only one without the factory key. Can you shut those doors behind you? Yeah. Whew. Sweet. I can't believe it. I can't believe I survived. Got out of there. With so one, like one limb. Right so many people I killed. Twelve. 
and you can see the scabs versus the players. Oh, just in this in this game. Mm. Nice, nice. With XP, and you need XP or levels to unlock traders. Before the last wide. Does it does it unlock certain weapons? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like if you hit Peacekeeper level three, you can finally get access to the M, uh, M, uh, M4. M4. Okay. Peacekeeper is the guy that does the M4s and shit. Right now, I can get an MP5 or MPX. Okay, so I made it out. So now we got a little character, and I can sell the dog tag I collected and the pistol. It was a low. I got a shotgun too. I guess we can try a shotgun run. So, uh, yeah, we're back. Trading. Therapist. Sell. Sell the dog tags. Oh, wait, I want to sell that pistol too. Alright, I'm going to get set up for a uh, shotgun now. We'll try a shotgun. What are these red, red uh, rifles and weapons over there? They're incomplete. Incomplete. So you can break a break a weapon down. Yeah. So it fits in your stash smaller. Like, see, I can do this. Well, where do the rest of the parts go? Modify, modify this. I can. I don't have any grips, but if I had a grip, I could put it on there and make it work. No. Ah. But the parts are just in your, like, these are gun parts here. Like, here's a new handguard, rank A. It gives, nice. you a, it gives you a rail, like, here's one that I modded. Uh, see, I got the scope on it and the foregrip. I got a muzzle brake. I got a butt pad on my rifle, which gives you a lot of... Bonuses, so you can double click this right So here. have there been any many games in this genre that have done done things like like this? No. Making no. modding you know, being able to mod your gun to this extent and I don't think so. That's in, what it's all in about. A, in a, an inventory, a persistent inventory, I guess you would call it. Right. No, I don't think so. Not to the scale. Like every square here is somewhere you can mod on the gun. Pretty badass, I guess. Yeah, I would say this is actually a pretty impressive game as far as because uh, it, it, it it's, it's almost like a first person RPG or a, a, a combat simulator slash RPG. In some ways, I would love to see Battlefield do this kind of thing, where your your soldier gets awards for completed tasks. Right. Right. And where you can actually develop, you know, I've, I've got this 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 medic, you know, and I've done so many so many things, and so I've unlocked this one. And they do that to a certain degree, but the persistent inventory is something they absolutely don't do, and I think that would be fucking buggy. It's still a, a an early release, or is it actually the beta now? Alpha testing or beta testing, I don't know. This isn't a Steam game, is it? No. Okay. Never mind then. So you couldn't really call it early release. Yeah, go to the website and get it. Yeah. And how much do they charge? The base pack package is like 30 bucks. Which gives you about this, uh, like, see from like, the top of this row to probably like right down here, the amount of space in your stash. You can only have this much. But with, to have each package, all it does is give you a bigger stash. So I have the biggest package, which is like 120 bucks, and that's why I have all this is, is, room. Is there a, a, a free version, or is it you have to you have to buy it to play? You yeah, have to pay to play. You got to pay to play. See that, that last match? See how it says 30.6 out of 46.6. Can you repair that? Yeah, it got damaged, so I got to repair it. Now, do you your weapons see, get damaged over time, like, where you have to repair them? No. Barrels get warped. They're, they're playing on it, though, I think, where you have misfires and shit. Misfires? Oh, yeah. 
And what, what factors will determine whether things misfire or not? Is it just general repair or is it uh, going to be specific, you know, lower grade uh, hardware? Yeah, there might be, I have no clue. You know, maybe, maybe you buy a, a grip that's not very expensive and then you can buy different grades of grip. Some of them are better than others. And then right, the lower right. one's gonna, your, your chance of a jam increases. If you buy a, a really nice one, it doesn't jam at all. Right, right. You I'm gonna try my fucking cool pack that, my last cool pack that has a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, how, you know, it's got the front fish or visor. If I can remember how to put shit down. Alright, we're gonna try it again, guys. Let's see here. You wanna scab my, again? Yeah, my scab's ready, so I'll just scab. Let's try this here. Well, I'd like to see the joint. More, more of the map. You got a joint, is that what you said? The character. You mean different maps? Yeah. Well, no, no, I'm, You've only got three. Well, what I, I mean is, I like to see them get more in here and oh, more maps that you can well, play. Cut, there's like four. Four? Four, okay. Four or five, I don't know. What do I get? Oops. Somebody's left, see that door's open. Right. But since I spawned in, it means that there's a Is every room. open door uh So does that sounds kind of hear that? Yep. Yeah. Sil that silence was somebody else, right? An another human. Well, that was the right guy. I don't know. Are all PMCs on the other side, and you have to kill them all, or some yeah. PMCs on your team? No PMCs are on my team. None of them. None. Okay. All the scabs. That was a real character, I'm pretty sure. No grenades. Where you go? Where you go? He was gonna get away if I if you didn't. Yeah, if I didn't do that. So now the next time you have to come back in, you have to come in as a PMC. Right. This guy. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I remember what button it is to enable visor. We'll play one more round of this factory. With a scab, you're pretty much guaranteed to not have body armor when you come in. So, you pretty much die one or two shots. Right, right, I definitely could get that. Which you kind of still do, even with fucking uh, armor. I just got shot, hit shot right there. Right. But, uh, like, the meta was when, like, later in the wipes, which means, like, every once in a while they wipe the game, where everybody starts at zero again. Uh, you get like later in the wives they get the best armor which is like full body armor so people go for the legs because you can't put armor on the legs so you can shoot your legs black and kill you without even hurting your armor i suppose that makes sense you shoot legs enough the arteries are gonna you're gonna, you're gonna get enough critical arteries that they'll bleed out fast i gotta fucking hurry around here sometimes you just die right off the bat Somebody threw a grenade. So is there a central uh, a spawn point that people can camp? No, it's all random. What's that? It used to be uh, everybody knew where the spawns were. But now they've made it where it's all random. Spawns. Actually random or just a random set of six different spawn points or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. What the fuck is these guys? I 
That's a scab, right? Yeah. Shit. Was that a human? Yeah. He was hunting you. Was that a scav human or a human human? King C. C. The King Green Geek. That's his name. And if it's a... And he just took all your shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, do whatever he wants. Right. It was in my gamma container. So, see. I don't have anything anymore I gotta take from this... This y'all. Body armor. I don't need this many SKS mags, so I can sell these. I'm gonna do a different map this time. I should have put my. I forgot to. I totally forgot to lower my base mass, so I might have got shot in the head. I'm not sure. Wouldn't you want to wear that one that protects your Jimmy? That might, uh. Where? This one here. Oh, that's the one I don't want to lose. Oh! What so, if I'm gonna play with this one, this is the best armor, at least the last patch that was in the game. It has armor points, but it, it armor zones, it, it's left arm, right arm, chest, and stomach. It's almost full body armor. If it, if it helps you survive, then why are you afraid of losing it? Because if I die with it, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> but then you'll get the advantage of having it keep you from dying. Right. I can't buy this until I unlock the traders. Like, if I uh, lose this, I can buy it from the traders. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna go in an automatic, I think. Fuck. I don't really have that many guns right now. I'm still early patch. Or, I've only played it a little bit. Okay. I gotta take out the good, my best gun right now. And I'm taking it the uh, little gold badge that indicates some type of special. It's insured. Oh, insured, insured, okay. Okay, uh, ready mags. Right, these are five, four, fives, yes. Man, I don't have any ammo, so I need to go trading. No. When it's insured, does that deny another person the ability to take it, or is it just ensure that you will get it back? If they don't take it, you'll get it back. Okay, so, so if it is insured, you will just so get replaced. So you die, you have all your stuff on you, and he loots your gun but leaves everything else, you'll get everything else back that he's insured okay. and he didn't take. But if the gun was insured and he took it, you can't get it back. Well, you do get a new one, though, right? If it's insured, it gets replaced. It doesn't if he takes it out of the raid. It goes into his sash. Then what's the point of insuring? Hoping they don't take it. <laughs> uh, I gotta buy ammo for this gun. US, PRS. Fuck, man. Oh, I don't have much here to choose from. I don't want tracer rounds. US, PRS. I guess I'll go PRS. I don't know what else to fucking. What are PRS? Different type of ammo. Or different types of ammo. Reduce ricochet bullets. And then you have like T for tracer rounds. So if you want, you can like load the first four rounds of your mag with tracers. That way, when you get down to the end, you'll see the tracers. You'll be like, oh, I need to reload. Right. Get down uh, to the tracers. Uh, I go PRS. Uh... Now tracers, they they do reveal your position, though, right? Yeah. Access to it. So you literally gotta 
open it up, put it into your typical or your, your general inventory before you can actually use it. Yeah. Well, you can use it and use, but you can't. You have to go into your the screen so you can get shot kind of thing, you know? Right. You can't hotkey it. No. Where's my backpacks? Do I even have backpacks? I just sold them all. I guess not. I just put backpacks in backpacks, as you can see. It's a safe space. Well, that's pretty convenient. Backpacks and backpacks. Yeah. Uh, Turtles all the way down. Painkillers. Bandage. Okay, that should be fine. Alright, let's see how quick I can die. I'm going to think positively here and think that you're actually going to survive this. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to say that you're going to kill them all. I hope you're right. I hope I am too. I'm not hoping. I'm going to be confident. I'm going to believe that you're going to be able to do it. I'm going to power positive thinking. So I'm positively going to believe that you can do this. If you don't, hey, you don't, but Yeah, this really comes off like a an RPG more than anything. It's like you got progression in a shooter kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, didn't you say you also have skill points you can put to different... You earn skill points that you can actually put on different skills. You can't put them on manually, you just get points in whatever you do. So, what do you mean, whatever you do? Is it, is it well, like, as the more I run in the game, the better stamina I'll have? So, it's almost kind of almost like the uh, same type of RPG skill progression that you have in, like, Morrowind or something? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Except you can't, uh, if I don't remember more, I didn't play Morrowind, but Oblivion. I don't remember if you get, if you just level up skills as you use them, or if you can put skills in whatever you want. Well, I can definitely remember running along. On, uh, on the Elder Scrolls and Morrowind, and uh, aren't they coming out with another one here pretty soon? Yeah, I think so. I thought I thought that was announced. Yeah, it's the Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Six. But I can definitely remember some instances where I'm running along, and they'll say your your running went up to five or something. Right, right. So this is customs. See, like you can crouch and like move up and down. Oh, so it's like a variable crouch. Yeah. So you can just like really lightly. That is, that's actually a very unique feature to this game because I've never seen a, a another game that does variable crouching. I've always wanted it in every game I played, and especially when I, when I knew about it. Same with the walk speed. See, I can scroll my wheel. So you're holding down on the D key and going forward, or W key, I'm sorry, going forward, and then scrolling down to... Holding down the crouch. Holding down the crouch for variable crouch. Right. And then holding down just regular, don't hold anything, just move your mouse wheel. Does, does that variable mouse wheel work for everything? Any kind of movements? Like sidestepping and stuff like that? Yeah. So they don't hear you creeping up on huh? them. see every time you hit a fucking bush. Definitely hearing some activity. Oh, you're, you're stunned by the bushes, aren't you? Yeah, the bush. I rub against the bush and it goes... Why is this not working? Now, does that uh, 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 mouse wheel thing work on the lean out? No. 
Graphically, I would say this looks much better than Squad. I think the graphics are far more refined than Squad. But is, isn't this the same game engine as Squad? Unreal 4, or...? I don't know, I'm not sure. Well, I'm thinking... I don't know, I'm not sure if they made their own or not. I, I thought, I thought that uh, Squad used um, Unreal 4. Yeah, they did. There's some... Oh no, it's kind of fighting. I heard some. Okay, I'm being really too cautious here. Okay, let's be quiet then, I'll be quiet. I heard some like a swinging sound. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's a grenade going off in the distance. Well, I'm glad you recognized the sound because I thought it might have been an axe being thrown at you. Can you throw the axes? No. You can't? No, you can't lose your axe either. So I can't take it off you. That's why they run with it. I would like to see them allow that, the throwing of an axe, because that's, that's almost quintessential with, with every, if you, you ever see Commando, what did Arnie do when he ran out of ammo? He freaking threw his knife. Right. And if you throw your axe, you throw your knife, you should be able to then attack somebody with your bare hands and take their weapon if you need to. Just just spitball in here. There isn't even I don't think there's even a melee in this game. Other than just snap really? and hitting people with your axe. Fuck. I, feel, I always feel so fucking exposed. Oh, yes. Like someone's yeah. seen me and they're gonna creep up behind me and just cap me. Yeah, yeah. That's a justifiable concern, I think. Very justifiable. Where's it coming from? Now, I do think that once you're finished with this game, we need to do a bit of research and see how we can uh, pipe the audio to our headsets and then we can restart this. Not restart, actually, we'll just, and I'll cut all this out so it's not even in the video. But um, make it to where you can use your headsets, your headset and be able to hear those footsteps you're wanting to hear. Welcome to Tarkov, you fuckers. Welcome, welcome. Here's a gun. Boom! We've got zombies in Tarkov. No, they don't really have... This game, I swear to God, it looks like it could be the next generation of Left 4 Dead. I keep on expecting a zombie horde to come out of nowhere and attack these guys. Doesn't this look like zombie, you know, some type of zombie game? It very well could be. Could be. Fuck. Somebody's right around us.
Now, how do you know they're not on the other side of the fence? Because that's the edge of the map. Okay. Did he just move back or did he go down? It definitely seems like there's multiple vantage points that you could yeah. be attacked from. And it doesn't really matter which way you go. It definitely appears as though you're going to be in the open to a certain degree. Are there any uh, fuel tanks or anything like that you can shoot out there? Any way to create diversions and things of that nature? I guess you throw a grenade. Throw a grenade, maybe, in like a spot you're not. Yeah, but then that, that that essentially tells them that you're there. They just have to look for you. Yeah, pretty much. So the blue fence is the perimeter. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Yeah. And if you get your shot, stomach shot out, it starts plummeting and you gotta get the fuck out. That doesn't seem like it's intended to for you. It's not the on the other side of the fence. How do you know when you're going in the right direction? Because this feels like a very like an open world map, but I'm not seeing any indicators anywhere on the screen that lets me know I need to go this way and that way. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to distract you there. Oh my accuracy, my accuracy is shit. I'm sorry. Uh, you pretty much got to like how I learned is uh, you have a... You've been watching Escape from Tarkov. Thanks for watching and please check my channel later for more gameplay videos and uh, political commentary.